Good day everyone, my name is Senzelu Lenkabini and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel I give you insight on what it's like to be homeless, surviving the streets and also how to rehabilitate oneself once you have left the streets. So for today I will not be focusing on a specific question regarding this video but I will be just giving you insight on how Begging at the robots is also a full-time job for some people that aren't even homeless. Yes, there are some people that beg at the robots that aren't homeless at all. And this is why I say it's a full-time job. Um, whilst I was still homeless, I met a guy named Tabo. I can give his full name because you will never meet him. <laughs> And Tabo lived in Chesterville. I think he still lives there. Even now. He lived in Chesterville. He used to beg at the robots near Kings Park Stadium. Like right at the back of Kings Park Stadium. If you've been to Durban or if you live in Durban, you know where Kings Park Stadium is. Kings Park Stadium is next to Moses Mabedia Stadium. Yeah. So Tabo couldn't find a job like you know a normal job maybe packing groceries at a supermarket or finding a job of fixing vehicles or being a mechanic or a painting job he couldn't find any of those ordinary jobs that most people do when they are homeless or that most south africans do just to earn money he couldn't find any of those jobs so he decided that it would be better to then just go and beg for money at the robots because I think when he, he used to walk near robots, he could see that a people are giving a lot of money to people that are begging. By the way, I don't know about other provinces, but in KZN, in Durban specifically, in Durban, a homeless person can literally make 1,000 rand in one week. Just by begging at the robots. Yes. Simmer in that. <laughs> 1,000 in one week. But anyway, I think he noticed that homeless people would get either money or they would get groceries from people that would just give at the robots when they are stopping when the light is red. And so what Tabo did was then... He literally dressed up in his old clothes, tore them up in some places, and went straight to the robots near Kings Park Stadium and started begging there. And he would leave his home at, at 4 a.m. in the morning because he had to walk from Chesterville to Kings Park Stadium. He had to walk all that way and he'd go and beg and then when he goes back home he will take a taxi he would carry a backpack and in the backpack there would be clothes that are clean and a face cloth so once he was done begging for that day he would go to the toilets near the beach front wash up like well not wash up but wipe the sweat off wipe his underarms and then get dressed in his nice clothes, his wash clothes and then take a taxi and head back to and head back home because Chesterville is right next to Durban, like next to the CBD so it only take one taxi that would drop him off at market and then he'll just walk home to Chesterville and with this video what I would like to highlight to some people is that you might think that you're giving a homeless person money when you stop at the robots but you could actually be feeding a whole family that has a roof door and windows because I also noticed uh, I remember I commented in Sims right video and someone said <laughs> uh, I, I'm worrying about having dignity Yet, I used to beg for two reds. And yet, I did not worry about dignity when I was begging for two reds. 
and obviously that person does not watch my videos on this channel because if they did they would know that i never begged for money i earned more money just by picking up cans but anyway what i would also like to highlight is that yes even if you don't have money or even if you give groceries just know that you might be giving groceries to someone that's literally taking those groceries and feeding the whole family with the food that you've provided because we all know that the employment rates in south africa are sky high the unemployment rate -ish. but anyway please do like share and subscribe and most importantly please do comment in the comment section and i will see you in my next video